brand new for 2022. It's the Heritage Barkeep Boot. I'm Dustin and you're watching Guns of the West. So here is the new Barkeep Boot. And just for a comparison, here is the original uh, Heritage Bar Keep that came out last year in 2021. It's got that grip that I really like. You've seen this in a couple other videos on the channel. Very short barrel, so no ejector. Does still have a front sight though. And look at the size of the Bar Keep boot. A barrel now so short, about an inch and a half, does not even have a front sight on it. So it'll be pretty interesting and fun to shoot. And they went to the bird head grip a lot of people suggested that to heritage myself included as you might remember if anybody from heritage does ever see this video i would put that as a suggestion maybe offer a bird's head on the barkeep i think it would be a little bit more of a natural look for a gun that grip does actually look a little large and apparently they heard that a lot because there it is in the bird's head which i think is a better configuration for much for such a small gun than the original grip like you see on the original barkeep there now, it, just to give you an overview, has the same frame that you're used to on other Heritage revolvers, the same screws, you can do the same interchanging, it's just as customizable. Still has that manual safety. I know a lot of people don't like, as I've said before, I don't love it, but I don't mind it. I think it's just fine. And now, why don't we go ahead and get the gun loaded up? I'll open up the gate, pull the hammer to half cock, which frees the cylinder, make sure it's not loaded already. And this is just a 22 long rifle cylinder so that is what will load in it as they're all rolling around right now there's one I'm gonna skip one and then load one two three and four so now as I pull the hammer all the way back and then lower it it is on an empty chamber uh, if you've been watching the channel you know that's called the cowboy load I received so many comments telling me that that's so unnecessary especially on this gun with a manual safety I realize that, and if you're just going to load up at the range to fire immediately like I'm doing today, you can certainly load all six, but it's still good habit to load five, and so that's what I do. Well, let's go see how the gun shoots. Well, as you can see, accuracy is a real challenge with such a small gun and such a short barrel and for having no front sight. I only hit the plate, I think, two times out of those five shots. Let me go ahead and show you how to unload the revolver. Pull the hammer back to half cock with the gate open. And since there's no ejector, it comes with the same unloading rod as the original bar keep. So I just use that to pop out the spent cases one by one, just like I would do with an ejector. Now, I'm going to remove this cylinder by taking out the pin. Put that gate back up. And I'll go ahead and put in a magnum cylinder for you. 22 magnum cylinder just goes in just like the regular one, the regular long rifle. Get that pin line back up maybe easier said than done there it goes and now let's go ahead and get the gun loaded with some magnum cartridges and we'll just do the cowboy load again so that's load one skip one load one two three four and then again as the hammer comes back and then is lowered that goes on the empty chamber well, let's so get uh, let's go see rather if i can't hit that steel plate with the magnum cartridges Well, the accuracy is not much easier to accomplish with the Magnums than it is with the long rifle. Obviously, 
This is meant to be a very, very close range gun. I don't know that I, I would choose it as my, you know, everyday carry gun, but it's a great conversation piece, if nothing else. That's one thing I love about Heritage Guns. They come up with so many ideas that are just so unique, whether it's in their color patterns or the guns themselves, like that Rancher carbine that I featured or both of these bar keeps. Just a lot of fun, and they don't cost very much. Sub $200 for most Heritage guns. By the way, check out that grip. I don't think I mentioned that before. If you can't tell, that's a rattlesnake carved in there. And I've also seen this Heritage Barkeep boot in pictures with a grip more like this, and yet still in the uh, bird's head shape though. Anyway, I wanted to give you this close up look once more before we end the video, because just such a fun little gun. Again, it has the same manual safety. It's got that four click hammer like the old Colts did. So it works authentically, half cock freeze the cylinder, just like on the old Colts. As some of you know, that was my complaint on the Ruger Wrangler is that it was more modernized and I just didn't see the, the fun in it as much. But I really enjoy this little barkeep boot for sure. Well, I really hope you enjoyed taking this look today at the little barkeep boot from Heritage. Please don't forget to click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos. And if you look in the description, you'll see where to find me on social media as well as where to find great Guns of the West products. Thank you so much for watching.